Okay, I'm here, I'm back for another beer review. Um, to, today, I keep on saying today. Today's the same day, that's why I'm wearing the same t-shirt as one of the other reviews, or maybe even two of the other reviews. It could even be three of the other reviews, depending on how many beers I decided to get through today. So the one that I've got now, should I say, is Vocation. I messed up this autofocus thing, yeah, right. So this one is Vocation. It's a barrel aged Vocation Imperial Stout. Let's read a bit about it. It's an Imperial Stout brewed with specialty malts. It's then aged in X red wine barrels for 10 months uh, on a mixed culture of Brett yeast, uh, once aged, oh, Brett yeasts, plural. Um, it says Brettomyces. I didn't really want to say that because it sounds like some kind of disease. Um, and I have actually had to look it up because I didn't know what Brettomyces was or how to pronounce it. Um, and the guy in the video that I was watching um, was brewing a sour beer. So this is a bit weird. It's an Imperial Stout. Um, this, but then this is barrel aged 10 months. Um, then it's blended with fresh stout for an additional layer of complexity. I have had some other kind of imperial stouts that are uh, mm -hmm. aged and uh, I think I think they came out a little bit sour. That's not working really. Um, from Wild Beer a while ago and they were barrel aged dark beers and they I'm, I'm pretty sure they had a sour taste to them so I wonder if they use the same yeast. Well, we're about to find out anyway. Well, we're not. I'll never know if the brewing process was the same, but we'll find out if this is a bit sour. Might not be, hope not. Sounds good. Uh, it's a, let's do the other bits. 440ml can, 10.1% ABV. I have to hide my head so it focuses on this. That's quite funny. So. Oh. Ah, nice dark head bubbling away. You hear it? This paint quite quickly. Very dark bear. Very dark beer. If we can get that as the thumbnail. Better get a better picture of that actually. So let's get the smell. smells a treat. There's a lot of alcohol coming out in it, that's probably why it's tempting. You can smell that red wine. It's got a barrel age, a proper barrel age smell to it. it smells like a strong one. Yeah, you can definitely you can definitely smell when um when a beer's been barrel aged in red wine casks <clears throat> barrels, you really can. Uh, oh, look at that, it's jet black. That is jet black. That is super complex. The first taste you get is a bit of a thickness and it's akin to a red wine thickness. So it's like drinking a nice thick um, red wine 
And then you get the red wine, acidity, and I always not go on about acidity. It's like my main thing that I think about when I'm drinking a beer. Um, but you get a nice kind of thickness and then you get a bit of acidity and then you get the, the roundness of a red wine, the body of a red wine, the kind of like fruitiness. Um, like a dark cherry, it's like a deep cherry taste. It tastes a lot of like a really nice red wine with the stouty kind of fullness on the back end. That is something special. That is definitely something special. That's amazing. So I bought this from um, from Vocation directly. It's part of the um, it's part of a box of beers that I uh, that I ordered from them the other day. Um, so far, I've ordered I've. Uh, I've ordered from them and uh, another brewery in Wales, and a brewery in Wales. I know they're not in Wales. Um, I'm going to start doing brewery by brewery. I think instead of like a mix box, because I was subscribed to Beer Fifty Two, but then they, and I don't know whether it was a sneaky thing or it was a coincidence or, or whatever. And I guess it's I guess it's fair game, but I just wasn't very happy with it. Um, and I might have mentioned it on one of my other videos, but I'm not sure. But um, maybe I did. Basically, they sent me an email and they said, oh, these are the um, our beer pickers' uh, best 10 or whatever. So I was like, oh, look through them. Ah, all look good. Added them. Um, one was Salt Eye Cap uh, in a 330ml. And it came to me and I paid £3.59 for it or whatever. And then a week after Tesco brought it out in um, the 440 can for three quid. And I know that Tesco can buy in bulk and all that kind of stuff, but I just wasn't too happy with it. Anyway, I'll probably edit that out because it's a bit of a rant. Anyway, back to this beer. <sighs> it's not my socks off. That really, really, really has impressed me. That has impressed me. Really has. Um. It has got like the taste of the tannins and and, uh, and and a lot of red wine kind of characteristics to it. Um, although, you know, slightly carbonated as it's a stout. It's a good one. It's a really good beer. Um, I feel like I'm just dishing out 10 out of the 10s. Uh, although this is probably going to go up before the other 10 out of 10 that I've done. Tune in, um, like and subscribe, and then you'll you'll find out what the other ten out of ten is. If this one goes up first, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give it a ten out of ten. Oh, will I? Will I? Can I give it a 10 out of 10? Because I tried to start this thing where I'm doing it by style to try and keep it fair. And if I was saying Imperial Stout, see that's, it, I could say my fate, I could say my favorite um, barrel aged Imperial Stout because then there's other Imperial Stouts like peanut butter Imperial Stouts. Um, marshmallow Imperial Stouts. I think you know which ones I'm talking about. So I could say it's my favourite barrel aged Imperial Stout. But then I had some anniversary Siren barrel aged. Were they Stouts? What's Maiden? Hmm, I don't know. This is a tough one. Tell you what, I'm gonna give this one a 9.5. If 
you like red wine, it's a 9.5. If you don't like red wine and red wine tastes, maybe you won't taste just red wine because I am picking up like the flavors that you would get in the red wine, like berries, like dark berries, like blackberries, cherry. There's definitely a, a, a distinct cherry taste in there somewhere. What a complex beer, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, and I would definitely give it a go. And look how much that's gone down in, in this the space of this review. Probably eight minutes. Most of my reviews are ended up eight minutes. Cheers.